Generations of children across the world will recognise the grand halls and corridors of Gloucester Cathedral, but they'll know them by a different name, Hogwarts. The cathedral's cloisters starred in three Harry Potter films and after centuries of wear and tear, they're now being restored. And as Cheryl Dennis discovered, it's a painstaking task. Some of the most famous ceilings in the world, Gloucester Cathedral's cloister is internationally renowned and of huge architectural importance. But the use of cement by the Victorians to patch up gaps has led to cracks and water damage. In 2019, a survey confirmed these fan-vaulted ceilings are at risk. They were just using things that they thought at the time were useful for the building. Um, they still had those traditional skills as well. Um, but with what we know, we can get rid of that cement and repoint it with lime um, so, and bring it back to its original state. Known to many as Hogwarts, the cloister has appeared in three Harry Potter movies. It's also where the monks used to sit and study. It's a huge area um, and one that's really beloved of people for all kinds of reasons, not least um, because it's one of our most popular filming destinations. But it's also one of the few bits of the old um, abbey life that still exists. The work is intricate and all done by hand and possible thanks to a £550,000 donation aimed at preserving the area for visitors. I haven't been here for um, a little while but it, it's reminded me of how beautiful it is here and how what a nice place it is to come to. I'm fascinated into what parts Harry Potter was in. It would be good to continue re restoring everything so it can last for generations to come. The stonemasons here are going to be training a team of apprentices and that means that their specialist skills are going to be passed on to the next generation and it's help they're going to need. There are 40 of these bays and there are 80 of these fans to be restored. No one's really touched this since the 1950s um, and it's quite possible that no one will touch it again for another 100, 200 years so it's really exciting. This first small section of work will determine how long the whole project could take. And we're talking years, if not decades.